The next day, Miranda decided to check out her new neighborhood. But suddenly, she was the one checking out. peculiar thing about New York. You never knew if a cab was going to save you or kill you. Columbia Presbyterian Hospital, please. Or both. Well, that was freaky. I felt like I was drowning and dying at the same time. Sweetie, they said you had a panic attack. Yeah, and I had to pay $500 of my single person salary to find that out. What's wrong? Take a good look at my face, because at my funeral, there'll only be half of it. I'll be dead, and my cat will be happy, and Charlotte will be picking up men at the next gravesite over. Breathe, sweetie, breathe, breathe. I'm all alone, Carrie. The first people on my call in case of emergency list are my parents, and I don't like them, and they live in Pennsylvania. Oh, sweetie, you can put me on there. I can't. You screen. Well, I'll pick up. I promise. Listen, you did the right thing buying that apartment. You love it, right? Yeah. And you won't be alone forever. The truth was, I didn't know if any of us would end up alone. But I did know Miranda couldn't afford another panic attack.